Hi everyone, today we have the newest power bank from Anchor. This power bank is different from the previous Prime power banks. It has a foldable wall charger, so the device serves a dual purpose, power bank and charger. This video will review the Anchor Prime power bank 9665W Fusion and then compare it to another Prime power bank. After that, we will compare it to Anchor MacGo Power Bank 10K, followed by conclusion. Before that, I want to mention that this video isn't sponsored, and I purchase all devices with my own money. Please support us by like, share, and subscribe, and leave us your feedback in the comment section below. Thank you in advance. Inside the box, we have the documentation. We can see the QR code for the user guide here. Travel pouch. Braided USB-C to USB-C 3.3 feet 100 watt cable and the Anchor Prime Power Bank 9.6K 65 watt fusion. As you can see, it has the same feeling and looks as other devices in the Prime line. The shiny black finish in front and the other size has this metallic gray color. On the front, we have the smart screen and below that, we have the company name. On the right side, we have the smart screen button. Below that, we have the two USB-C ports. We have the foldable wall charger on the back side of the power bank. On the top left corner, we have the lanyard. It's a small, so it can't be used as wrist strap, but I think it can be used to attach the device to a hook or carabiner. To charge the device, the device can be connected through USB-C port to charger, or by using the foldable wall charger and attach it to AC outlet directly. Both USB-C ports can provide 65 watt if one is used, but if both are used, the C1 will provide 45 watt and the C2 will provide 20 watt. Device dimension is 1.71 inch, 1.65 inch, and 4.56 inch. The device weighs 10.9 ounces. Now let's get the weight with the pouch and the cable. The weight with the pouch and cable is 12.2 ounces. The smart display shows the battery percentage. Below it we can see the charging rate of each USB-C port. When it was used as power bank, we couldn't make it charge and be charged simultaneously for some reason. And now we have it providing power through both USB-C ports. But now we'll change this one into input and we will see what will happen. Now you can see that it's getting charged from this one, but at the same time it's not providing power on the other one. It's getting charged at this rate, 22.4 watt and it's 98 point something. And uh, we can see that in seven minutes it will be fully charged. I want to mention here that if we connect it to an AC outlet, it can charge our devices and the internal battery at the same time. In this video, we have two comparisons. The first will compare our device to another two Anchor Prime power banks. The Anchor Prime 20,000 milliampere power bank 200 watts and the Anchor Prime 27,650 milliampere power bank 250 watt. The main differences between the three devices are the Anchor Prime power bank 9,600 milliampere 65 watt fusion has a full double charging ability and a lanyard and it doesn't have a USB A port or connectors for the Anchor Prime charging base like the other two power banks. The Anchor 27650 mAh power bank has app control. Other than that, we see differences in size weight and price capacity and charging rate this one is 9600 milliampere and can provide a total power of 65 watt this one is a 20000 milliampere and can provide a total power of 200 watt this one is 27650 milliampere and can provide a total power of 250 watt for me the 9600 is a good fit as charger for phone or laptop but as power bank, 9600 mAh can charge your phone more than once. But for the laptop, I think the other power banks are better with 20,000 mAh and 27,650 mAh. The second comparison. 
Now we will compare the Anker Prime Power Bank 9600 mAh 65 Watt Fusion with the Anker MacGo Power Bank 10K. These two devices has almost the same capacity 9600 versus 10,000. Other than that, there are many differences. I'm comparing them because both are good mobile phone users' options. Now we'll compare dimensions, weight, capacity, charging rate. If I'm using the Anker Prime Power Bank 9600 mAh 65 Watt Fusion, then this is everything I need. I have the cable to charge my phone, and to charge the power bank, I connect it to power outlet directly. On the other hand, I use Anker MacGo Power Bank 10K because it holds my phone and charges it at the same time. But I need the wall charger and cable to charge the power bank itself. Plus, I purchased this case to keep the power bank and the cable together and protect it in my backpack. I think this device is better if the intention is to be used in travel while the other one is better option to be used when you want the device to hold your phone and charge it simultaneously. Conclusion This small light device can fit in your pocket or backpack easily. The 9600 mAh isn't a lot, but if they increase it to 20,000 mAh for example, the size and weight will also increase. 9600 mAh is enough for you if you need the device for your phone, but as I mentioned before, for a laptop I think it's better if you choose a bigger power bank for the task. The foldable AC charger eliminates the need for a separate wall charger, which is helpful during travel and everyday trips. It is a flight approved, making it a good option for travel. It can charge two devices simultaneously, without needing a wall charger. So everything you need to charge your devices is in the palm of your hand. So I think it's a good option for you if you want a power bank for travel and at the same time you want to use it as charger for your laptop. This could merge two devices into one compact device. Therefore, I think this is a good option if you need a small lightweight power bank to charge your devices without needing a wall charger and don't mind the $89.99. But if you want the power bank to charge laptop or large screen iPad, the other two prime devices are better options with the 20,000 mAh 200W and 27,650 mAh 250 watt. I think they are more capable of that task. If you want a lightweight power bank with wireless charging capability and capable of supporting your phone on your desk, the Anker MacGo Power Bank 10K might also be a good option. All devices mentioned in this video were reviewed on this channel before. The Amazon affiliated links are in the video description below. Using the link will not increase the price for you, but it will provide the channel with a small commission so we can continue providing this content. Please support us by like, share and subscribe and leave us feedback in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.